Hey, it's Dr. Miller here. I, um, I have a great opportunity with Becca here to explain sort of subtleties of facial aging. Now, you can tell if someone is 80, you can tell if someone is 50 or 40 or so, but have you ever thought about what are the subtle changes in facial anatomy which, which make someone a little bit more like they're 20 or a little bit more like they're 35 or so? And so Becca and I were having this conversation and she was gracious enough to actually allow us to use her as a model and I'm really proud of Becca. I've known her for ages, and people may not recognize her, but she was on, can I tell everybody? Yeah. She was on and won um, on Shark Tank for a really, really cool product. And I'm doing a little cross-promotion here, but I can't help it. It's so cool. Tell us, tell us what you have. Yes, so I'm the creator of Soulmates. We invented this product that prevents women's high heels from sinking into grass at weddings and parties, getting stuck in city sidewalks, grates, you name it. It's like insurance against ruining your high heels. Amazing. And, and, and I'm honestly, I'm honestly just so proud of Becca because I've known her for ages before she created this. Mm -hmm. So, so, so honestly, that wasn't a commercial as much <laughs> as me like being just so proud of her. Really, really, genuinely, I'm just so proud of her for, for all of her her success. Uh, and they actually work, by the way. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, launching in CVS stores uh, across the nation on next Monday, Friday. On next Friday. Yes. Um, okay. So. Um, so I've known Becca for a really long time, so I've seen her undergo some of those subtle changes of aging, and let me show you where, where it is in particular. So, put your head back here. We're not talking about the, the wrinkles that she may have when she smiles, because she's a very animated individual. We're talking about this right here, and this is this line that you can maybe see right here and right over here. And what that, that line is now visible because you've lost she's lost volume right over here, which she may not even appreciate why, because when you lose volume here, it makes your cheeks look a little bigger. But guess what? You lose volume here and you lose volume here, but you lose volume up here faster. So it still looks like you have a cheek because this is depressed and this stays elevated, but maybe you can also appreciate the shadow that she has right here. So this area of her cheek is starting to lose. This one right here, that's losing volume as quickly as this one, but you don't almost appreciate it because it looks like she continues to have a cheekbone here because this has lost its volume. So the, the, what we're gonna do today is fill this up, recognize how deflated this area is, and then fill this up over here ever so slightly as well. And with that in mind, I just wanna convey the, the important concept. It's not about filling up or inflating or taking a balloon and making it as large as possible. That's not the point. Think of a golf ball and think of all those little indentations that are on the golf ball and that we're just converting those little dimples on the golf ball into a smooth ball. I like to say we just sort of spackle to make everything nice and, and smooth and then we could determine whether or not we want to make any particular feature a little bit larger in proportion and relevant to every place else. Right? Great. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do it. Okay. So, Kels, Kelly is here to help me. Say Hello. hi, Kelly. Hi. And Kaylin is behind hi. us. Mm -hmm. She's really. We love Kaylin. We love Kaylin. And later, Wendy. Okay, so I'm going to make my little marks. Now I start by using a, a wee prep. Yep. Okay. I start by doing just a little bit of a filler. I'm sorry, this is just a little lidocaine and epinephrine so that it's completely comfortable for her. I leave that bulged out like that. That's, that's not filler, that's just a little numbing medicine so that when I introduce the filler, which doesn't, it doesn't hurt um, the filler, but the needle that I use is a little bit on the bigger side for this particular area, and I don't want it hurting her at all. Okay, so the product I'm using today is Voluma, and Voluma lasts almost two years. One, two, three. Tell me if you're feeling anything, sweetie. And I'm gonna go right underneath where I can feel like I'm right there, and I'm gonna start filling in. You can see the whole thing is starting to inflate. Isn't that neat? You're just blowing up beautifully. Mm -hmm. How does it feel, Rebecca? It feels fine. Who's Rebecca? <laughs> exactly. 
Here we go. Mm -hmm. And now you don't see that line anymore, right? So the forehead, the forehead smoothly comes into the temple. And now take a look. Now all of a sudden the cheek doesn't look nearly as prominent, except for that area where I put the numbing. Now the cheek looks a little flat, doesn't it? Right? So in order for me to make this cheek a little bit more prominent, I'm gonna add volume. See how this side almost looks a little bit more like she has a cheek here? But that's because she's depressed here. Okay, again, disregard that, that area right there. But over here, I'm now gonna make this contour come right into her cheek. pressure on that right mm -hmm. here. How does it feel? Did any pain, any no, discomfort? Nothing. No. Easy. Need a spa? <laughs> Need a spa. Yes. Okay, let's take a look. Wow. Yeah. Perfect. You can see the depression here how that area looks clearly as if she needs something, whereas her cheek just pops out on this right side. Gorgeous. <laughs> Perfect. Great. Awesome. Now, 